Today's video is on Okefenokee Swamp State Park, near Waycross in Ware County. The Okefenokee Swamp is the largest blackwater swamp in the United States, and is considered one of the seven wonders of Georgia. The word Okefenokee is thought to mean bubbling water, but is often mistranslated as land of a trembling oath. The earliest European visitors were the Spanish, who established the Santiago de Oconee Mission to convert local Native Americans. English colonists later settled in the swamp, and due to how remote the swamp is, they saw very few outsiders until the 1900s. Because of this, the Okefenokee Swamp was one of the last places where Elizabethan, also called Shakespearean English, was used in day-to-day -day life. In the 1940s, the Works Progress Administration began work on creating a park in the Okefenokee. World War II put the project on hold, and after the war, the state decided to lease the 1,200 acres for use as a state park. A nonprofit called the Okefenokee Association was also created to manage the park. The park opened October 8th of 1946, and Governor Ellis Lionel was the guest of honor. The park was known as the Okefenokee Swamp Park, but was also referred to in newspapers as Okefenokee Swamp State Park. This was not an error on the part of the newspapers, as it is listed that way in official state brochures in the late 1940s. The park was very popular, and it's unclear when the state gave sole control to the Okefenokee Association, though it was after 1955. The park was notable enough that it was featured in a 1959 promotional film made by Ford called Okefenokee Interlude, which is the video that is currently playing. The film highlights the swamp along with the Edsel automobile that is best remembered as one of the worst car failures of all time. Today, Okefenokee Swamp Park is managed by the Okefenokee Association, which has been renamed Okefenokee Swamp Park Incorporated. The state also has a state park on the swamp, Stephen C. Foster State Park, which opened in 1954. Thank you.